We are living in a time where everything that God has written about is being challenged, not just from the world, but from our pulpits. Our pulpits are challenging the Word of God today. Our pulpits are questioning God today. Individuals that have been tainted by the pain and the struggle to maintain that threshing floor has been now been taken underneath from them, and now they're left wondering, who is God? Where is God? What do I do with this idea of God? Yet, God has called us to build an altar for this hour, for this generation, because when you talk about the, the old anointing, the David Wilkerson's are gone. The Oral Roberts are gone. The Billy Grahams are gone. We're watching the, the shift of the guard take place right before our eyes, and we're watching a generation, and if you're still alive, that's you. I'm not talking about the baby boomer generation, the, the greatest generation ever. No, if you're alive and breathing today, you're that generation. And it seems like more than ever that if we're not transparent with our lives, we're in trouble. I told this the other day on the, on the program, Jeremiah, I don't go and hide in my office and read the Bible and be away from my kids. I join my kids. So if he's playing video games, I'm reading my Bible next to him. Dad, what are you reading? He stops his game. Tell me more about that. Why do you believe transparency is the key for this generation that we're in right now that us as leaders, as church members, as parishioners, need to have in order to be effective for this hour, for this generation? I think transparency, I love the definition of vulnerability. It means capable of being wounded. So transparency and vulnerability, it unlocks heart to heart. It, it's a heart level exchange of communication between one another and so I just I believe that we have a generation that's tired of being patronized they're tired of being lied to they're over the fake I mean I, I don't know how many people you know I preach I do conferences seminars so many people know the pomp they know the politics uh, they know the protocol they can dress like act like talk like but when it comes to actually being being a real person right taking off undoing your hair it, it's so hard and so that's why I believe the Lord is raising up families he's he's raising up and it's messy right? The, the, you know, sometimes you live in dysfunction so long, you think it's functional. And sometimes the Lord has to come in and really give you a spanking. <laughs> and I know that's how the altar, this book, yeah. this book was birthed through a public spanking that I received that people misunderstood. They were opinionated about but again, like you said, we all have to hear the voice of God for ourselves. It's so important in these last days. Ooh, I love what you just ended. It's all part of the last day's plan. 